So what is happening? Well, as you can see in the poster here behind me, um, this is what's happening. We come into a body as light. And that's why the poster shows so much light just above the body. You can see um, right here, this little body above my thumb and how it is, it is the descendant of our I am presence or our, our eternal radiance descending into the body so we can have a human experience. So what happens is some of the experiences that we have, they create imprints in our energy field, which can get lodged in the chakras. It can get lodged in various parts of the body because the body stores memory. So these bits of unhealed, undefined forgiveness they actually block the light that is descending into the body. They crimp the hose a little bit. It's like the story I told the last couple of weeks about the bowl of light. Each child in Hawaii was born with a perfect bowl of light. And every time it had an experience that it didn't understand or didn't know how to digest or process, a stone it would pick up and put in its bowl of light. That's a symbol of the contraction the unhealed crystallized memory that uh, requires healing. So after a time, one stone after another, pretty soon the bowl would not emanate very much light. And the person would eventually, if they didn't clear the bowl, would become a stone, is how the proverb goes. And a stone and light cannot hold the same space. So the children at a very young age were taught how to take the stones out, how to deal with the stones that are preventing their light from being more radiant within their life. So that's generally uh, what's going on. And we can get more specific as we move into the process. But this idea of Ho'oponopono or the sacred apology is the idea of connecting our body where the memory is being stored, where the, where the bowl is, and our immortal self to clean and clear the bowl so that we have a direct unified connection of our radiant self operating in the body. How do we do that? Well, we have to find what is, requires forgiveness within us, first step, second step, assume full responsibility for your part, for my part in creating what needs forgiving. In other words, in this psychology, in this system, there's never another one to forgive because in spiritual psychology, which this is, uh, is based in, there's only one of us here. And I know that sounds weird to the ego, to the person that can only see everyone and everything as separate. But there is a polarity to that experience. It's a spiritual view of ourselves and others, where we're all one, operating in many different bodies. So you can see how both are true. And both will create, each will create an entirely different experience for you. So in assuming full responsibility, we are um, taking back our power from wherever we left it or whoever we left it with. For example, if you're angry with someone, you're giving them your power. If you're frustrated with someone, you're giving them your power. If you're, if you're um, judging someone, strongly and it upsets you, you're giving him your power. And see, this is how people like uh, Trump thrive. We got a half a country, you know, projecting on him nasty things. He's just soaking it up, you know. He says, shower me with power, please. 
because he, he doesn't really care about the quality of energy that's coming to him. So negative, positive, doesn't matter. It's all energy we're giving someone when we project on them. So in full responsibility, we are taking back our power. We're taking back our projection onto someone or something. We're reclaiming it and then we're going vertical and apologizing for doing so. For kind of believing that we are separate from others for apologizing for not being able to be kind and generous, forgiving, compassionate all the time with everyone, especially ourselves. So that's what the sacred apology is about. And who are we apologizing to? Well, we've got two choices. We can do both. We can apologize to our, our illustrious light, as you can see, that comes in through the top of our head and lights our body. And what are we apologizing for once again? For our humanness, for our inability to be as generous and kind, as compassionate as that light is to us, to others. Because this is why we come to earth. We actually come to earth to to learn how to be love in the body, which we already are. But our mental state and our beliefs, they prevent this from showing up all the time. It's easy to show up when we see a, a small baby happy and smiling. It's just, we just immediately go to heaven in that view. So it shows up all the time. We take it for granted. So what we're working towards is having it consciously show up because we intend to be more like our light is to us, to others. So in other words, it has been said that we were, create, we were created in our creator's image. So we are cascading this light that has come into a human body and we are proliferating it, we are spreading it into the world. So when we're not doing that, we're doing something else. We're usually judging, diminishing our experience, resisting our experience, because we're responding to the memories that have been stored in our body. And a lot of those memories, they're not so positive. <laughs> And some of the deeper imprints are extremely negative. From childhood abuse of any kind, psychic, sexual, whatever. Um, being told you can't do something, being told you're not good enough. Those are imprints that need erasing or evolving, I would prefer to say. So, um,